What's good? It's Shelter. I hear the most woke, no joke, and I'm brrrah. Back at again with a brand new video, and I'm gonna keep it a bow, Barry Biscuit. Shaq Thompson may be the future of the elite linebacking core, like taking on the, the mantle and and getting the baton from from Luke and Thomas Davis Sr. But right now, this man is just a dummy. Now, I didn't hear about this news two years ago, but let's go down to picture in picture right now because I just saw some some the stupidest thing I ever thought I'd see in my life, bro. This man, Panthers linebacker Shaq Thompson, being sued for a head-on collision. Okay, I understand when people get in accidents. Everyone gets in accidents. Sometimes there's no fault of anyone. Sometimes it's your fault, but it's a good reason. Sometimes it's someone else's fault, and it's a good reason. But sometimes it's your fault, and it's a bad reason. This is on Pro Football Talk on NBC Sports, man. The story is, two years ago, uh, Shaq Thompson was being sued by a Duke quarterback. He hit uh, an ex-Duke quarterback. He, he hit in a head-on collision. Uh... The dude's name was Anthony Boone. Now, I remember, I don't know much about Anthony Boone, but I do remember watching, I don't, I don't watch very many Duke games, but I'm a big Duke basketball fan, so I watched some, I watched like two or three of the football games in the past couple years, and I do remember the name. I do, I don't know, remember, I don't know how good he was, uh, but I do remember his name. And apparently, man, apparently Shaq Thompson lost control of his vehicle, crossed the center line, and it hit, and hit Boone's car head on. And Boone, what happened? Boone, uh, broke his hip, his hand and his ribs, and he was playing in the CFL. This man was playing in the CFL, and after that injury, which happened two years ago, he hasn't he hasn't uh, played since. So he's suing Thompson, and uh, and and you would think, okay, man, maybe there's some way you can work it out. Like it might not be someone's fault. Like what what happened? What why why did why did Shaq Thompson lose control of his car and uh, and go to the center line? This man admitted that he lost control of his car when his cell phone fell to the floorboard and he tried to retrieve it. Are you telling me you you tried to re first of all your phones now, now everyone texts and drives look man it's, it's no secret everyone texts and drives you can tell people everyone knows you shouldn't text and drive but everyone does it even if you have a little holster thing it doesn't matter if you have a holster on your like on your center console or whatever you just, your eyes are still off the road and your hand is still doing something else your attention is somewhere else we all know I'm not gonna tell you to not to not text and drive you know you shouldn't I'm not gonna be the hypocrite here but. Come on now, man. If you're if you're texting and driving, that's one thing. But if you're but if you you're texting and driving, your phone drops to the floorboard. You know what? If you're going fast enough to break someone's hand, hip, and uh, and ribs, you should probably shouldn't be. You probably shouldn't be. You're not in the, in the right place to reach down to the floorboard and try to pick up your phone in the middle of the road, bro. You're not like in a residential area. You're not like on like a on like a. You're, if you're in Charlotte, first of all. Then I mean, this it's kind of depending on the time of day. The traffic's pretty bad. You can you can do that kind of thing. But if you're going that fast and you're crossing the center line, bro, that's just a that's just a big dumb move. Now the dude says uh, he's suing uh, Thompson for an excess of twenty five thousand dollars for like lost wages and obviously you know the damages and all that kind of stuff. But honestly, there's not even a real max that I would even feel bad for Shaq Thompson here. Really, I don't I don't care what the max is. I mean, I'm now it's not like a, not a few million dollars, but this dude hasn't played in his job in the last two years. He probably can't play football again. Let's be real. He probably can't play football as a quarterback again, even if it's in the CFL. They don't have a lot of money to go around, and there's a lot of hungry, desperate quarterbacks out there uh, who are ready to, to step in in his place. And it's different between like he might be going and be a, be a, an athlete. And maybe not like maybe like a receiver or something or like a DB, but you're not being paid a lot as a as a DB in the CFL. So Shaq Thompson, man, it, 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 pay the man. I don't care what it is, bro. Whatever this man has, whatever this man comes up with, whatever number he comes up with, man, you gotta pay this man. The cell phone on the floorboard, Shaq Thompson, bro, man. What do y'all think about this story, bro? Did you have any kind of remorse for Shaq Thompson at all? At least he admitted it. At least he admitted it. But do you have any kind of remorse with man at all? I feel bad for Boom, bro. That's tough to lose your job. You haven't been working in two years. Let me know in the comments below. You already know what to do that like button. I got a button right here for subscribe. A button right here for you to watch more videos. Namaste. Back sooner than you think. Don't text and drive, man.